Hey guys, this is Ashley K of Horizon Esports. I'm joined by Mickey of G2 Esports. After the final day of this round one of group stages of 2019 World Championship. Hey, um, thanks for the interview. You just walked out of the victory on the final day of the round one. How are you feeling? Um, I mean, after the last game, I'm not feeling that good. You know, it wasn't my proudest performance. <laughs> but uh, I mean, we still got a win, I guess. So I'm not too sad. It was just like, yeah, it was a fun game. I'm gonna say that it wasn't the cleanest game to start with and it actually went quite close for some time but G2 managed to suddenly hit their spike and roll over HKA at some point. Um, where do you think that change in tempo happened? I mean it was after we started playing around Baron a little bit more. I think they didn't really take control of Nash and they played for Drake where we just went for Nash control all the time. And uh, yeah, I mean I felt like they could probably take the control, they just didn't, they didn't do it. So then at one point when Yasuo got a few items, they could just like kind of two-man Nasher. And uh, yeah, Syndra was already dead to turn and she kind of won from the Gragas because Syndra is really balanced. And yeah, then we won because of that. <laughs> it looks like you're also not that completely 100% happy with the performance today. So how would you rate your own performance out of 10? <laughs> today, out of 10, I would say like maybe two out of 10. Um, maybe three. Uh, I'll give it a two and a half, two point five. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, because I felt like after I went zero five, I picked it up. So then I finished zero five eight, which I, if we don't count the five deaths, I was zero zero seven. Um, and at the end, I did a good flash hold. So that was the highlight of the game for me. <laughs> but yeah, overall, it wasn't a great. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good ending overall. And um, speaking about how G two ended the game, you guys always seem to be having so much fun. Like you know, even before the game start and in the game, in the chats, in the plays, and out of the game. Yeah. What's the team environment like, and how does it impact the performance of the team? I mean, I think our team environment, team environment is always like pretty happy. We're like all really relaxed. Maybe today it wasn't as relaxed because we were like kind of trying a bit harder because we were, we were just like at a stalemate. So we're just going for vision and actually had to communicate more about what's happening in the game instead of just memeing as we could against the other two teams. <laughs> uh, but yeah, overall it's just like, yeah, pretty chill. We're just kind of joking around all the time. And I think it does help us play better as well for, because we have a better team atmosphere. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And you guys are really having fun. You guys are very creative and some of that goes into the creativeness of the play. Um, and the question a lot of people are asking is, is G2 extremely dominating or has the meta just found them in a perfect moment? Um, I would say that we can play any meta. I don't think like a meta kind of defines us because all of us as, a, as players are really creative and we can always find the best picks for the patch and we can all play them um, compared to other teams where I think some teams, for example, can't play like tank tops or something, but I think we can play like legit everything. We can play mages, ADs, bot, we can play tanks, carry stop, we can play mages, ADs, mid, like we can play legit everything jungle as well and support as well. I'm pretty sure I have like the biggest champion pool. So I don't think a meta is a problem for us. It's just uh, the problem is just like how we, what we think is best at the current patch. So maybe if we get that wrong, then we can lose, you know, but yeah. You guys are currently playing in Berlin, Germany, and the crowd has been overwhelmingly supportive of the G2. I saw you guys walk out of the walk out to set up, and every time some, a player walks out, everybody's like, ah, G2, and then they just go wild. And how has this support been impacting you? I mean, honestly, I've never experienced it before, so it was pretty crazy that even, usually I don't get much cheers because I'm not like the most famous player. So whenever I walked on stage, and I'm like walking alone and they start cheering for me. It feels really nice because I never got that before. So I would like to thank everyone that is cheering for us, I guess. And yeah, even in game, it feels really nice whenever you do like a big play and everyone goes really wild. But uh, it feels a bit bad for the enemy team because when enemy team does something good, it's like kind of silent <laughs> sometimes. So yeah, but I overall think the crowd is great and they're just like, yeah, pretty loud and I, l I like it. I enjoy every moment. Um, so you guys are playing in the home ground. You guys have the support of the European, pl uh, the European crowd, and a lot of the media and analysts have been touting this team as the heavy favorite for World Championship. That this might be the best team contending for World Championship. Does it pressurize? That does it pressurize you guys in any way, or does it actually motivate you? Which way do you think is more? I mean, I think it's 
more of as a motivator because it's also our own goal for when when we built this team we all felt like we could win everything so that's kind of our goal as well and uh, yeah we don't really feel much pressure at least personally i felt like a lot more pressure when i was at world for the first time in 2016 when i was in splice and i wouldn't even no one expected us to make it out of groups but i just felt more nervous and i was really shaking on stage whereas now i don't feel any pressure at all i'm just playing comfortably as if i'm playing in the lc studio so yeah maybe i just got used to it i'm not sure but yeah oh that's really cool and it does look like looking at the current situation g2 will be going away from group stages as the first place um, if you guys do go to the quarterfinals, who do you want to face the most? <laughs> uh, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I have to think because, well, for quarters, I wouldn't mind someone that is not really insane. So I wouldn't like an SKT, for example. In, actually, I guess they couldn't really get second seed. But anyway, uh, from second seeds, I wouldn't mind getting like the second seed from group B or from group D. I think those two would be nice. So then we have like a bit of a more relaxed quarterfinals and then for semifinals they can like ramp up so we got a really good team and then for finals hopefully well the best team that we can face so it feels rewarding when we win um compared to msi <laughs> we played against team liquid and it wasn't it was a bit anticlimactic so yeah that's pretty much it because you already seem to be thinking about the finals i gotta ask so who do you want to face at the final huh well so far only us and skt are undefeated so uh, right now we'll have to say skt but uh, well, it depends how they perform in the future. But yeah, so f right now I would have to say SKT because they're the best. And SKT will be looking for the revenge against you guys. So they might even perform stronger against you guys. They could, but then again, um, I got to practice with my team this time around. So it might be harder for them. And we probably won't test stuff level uh, like game one, like we did in the first time we faced them. So I actually feel like we would have a better shot than last time. But I guess we'll see. <laughs> Cool. Um, thank you and congrats on the 3-0 start to the group stages. Um, and you'll be starting. Uh, you'll be going to the second round, playing all the teams once more on a single day. Which team do you think will give you the most challenge? As Cloud9, Griffin, HKA. I mean, I'm probably Griffin. I think they're the strongest team besides us in our group. Um, I feel HKA is also pretty strong. Um, I don't think Cloud9 is that that great. <laughs> Um, but you, n you never know, you know. So, yeah, I mean, I would have to say Griffin, yeah. Griffin has been saying that they've been warming up to the world stage, that they've been improving their performance on every match. So do you think it will be an even closer match on the next time you face Griffin? And how do you think that match will go? Okay, um, well, hopefully it will be closer than last time. And <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping for, like, some crazy picks because the first time we faced him, it was, like, kind of generic, just, like, normal picks. But I hope... We get to see some orange support from Elhens or like Elise support, some Teemo support. I know he played in solo queue for a bit, maybe Singed. And then I can pull off some crazy stuff as well. So I'm hoping for that in the next time I face them. Like? <laughs> like maybe Sion support. I mean, Sion is pretty good. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Okay, we'll look for some Smite Sion support life pick from G2. Perhaps. <laughs> perhaps but okay, thank you so much for the interview and best of luck for the second round. Thank you. Thank you. This was Ashley Kang for Corazon Esports and I was joined by Mickey of G2 Esports. For more League of Legends and 2019 World Championship content, check out Corazon on YouTube and remember to subscribe.